as events continue to unfold on the continent of Africa, France has begun the withdrawal of its troops from Niger. I think that is a very important decision by France, though it has affected France from a geopolitical standpoint and also the foreign policy of France in the region of the Sahel, specifically in Mali, Burkina Faso, and also in Guinea, and more importantly in Niger. It is important that France continue this withdrawal to bring some peace in the region. France's relationship with Niger has been that of catastrophe in terms of uh, their operation and interaction business-wise from a number of other areas considering the exploration of uranium. It is important that France's troops withdraw carefully from the region and also the Nigerian people to take over control of their own country. There are a number of challenges, no doubt. You will notice that France does have a cooperation agreement with a number of these countries in West Africa, the francophone speaking countries. France locked these countries in a particular cooperation agreement, which gave France the opportunity or the chance to intervene at a time when those countries will require France's support or need. But as we have all seen over the years, the French troops have withdrawn in Mali, Burkina Faso, and also we are seeing what's going on in Niger. French military convoys rolled through the outskirts of Niamey on Tuesday, marking the start of their departure from Niger. Pickup trucks and armoured personnel carriers laden with French troops left bases in southwest Niger as demanded by the country's junta. Sidi Ali was among residents glad to see the soldiers leave. If the people of Niger as a whole have decided that a particular force should leave, then that force must leave. And that is the will of the people. And the will of the people must always be respected. This appears to be the final nail in the coffin of France's military ties with its former colony. It's also the latest sign of how France's influence in the region has been diminished following several coups in West Africa. French forces have also been kicked out of neighboring Mali and Burkina Faso. That's left a hole in international efforts to counter a decade-old insurgency in the Sahel and exacerbated Western fears over Russia's expanding sway in Africa. It is important that France leaves Niger as we all understand, the relationship between Niger and France has been that of a dismal performance in terms of the bilateral relationship and also France's presence in the region. If you look at what has happened in Burkina Faso, Guinea, and also in Mali, considering Niger's situation, France leaving Niger, I think it's a terrible diplomatic failure for France. France's diplomatic relation with Niger has been that of catastrophe over the years. And if you notice that the French presence in the region has not been really welcome as a result of France's colonial past in that particular part of the continent of Africa. So France leaving Niger, it's a good thing for France and it's also a good thing for Niger. The Nigerian people can now take absolute control of their own community, take absolute control of their own country and also embark on the journey for their own future. If they want to face the jihadists, that should be their issue. However, France leaving Niger is important to kind of de-escalate things in that region. If we all look at the contentious relationship within these two countries, I believe that Niger not just saying that they've come on top, but Niger has actually indicated that they really want to charter a new part in their history. They really want to move ahead, to take their own future in their own hands. If you look at the way France has operated with these countries in the Sahel region, specifically Francophone speaking countries, France actually locked this country in a particular cooperation agreement. This withdrawal is an indication that some aspect of freedom is beginning to come across those regions. It's important to know that the West African nations have gone through an incredible period with France and these countries are beginning to take their own future in their own hands. One of the most important things that these countries first will exercise once they sever this relationship with France is the cooperation agreement. The cooperation agreement is what France has used to hold down these countries over the years. The cooperation agreement has been the elephant in the room. This is what France has hurled these countries down. 
and give France the opportunity to intervene at certain times of the year or if there are instability or coups in those countries. But exactly, a lot of people are really shocked that why France is not intervening in those countries. A number of experts have questioned France's uh, readiness and also um, ability to intervene in its former colonies. We all have seen that in other mainstream media. So I've questioned France's presence. Might be a number of issues. It's only France that can discuss the reason why they cannot get into those countries. If you look at French President Emmanuel Macron, when things happened and the coup was in Niger, it clearly indicated that France will not allow an ambassador to leave Niger. I think that was a fundamental mistake from a France's point of view, or from analysts who think that France had a particular interest Keeping the uranium issue aside, I think that by France withdrawing from Niger, it has exposed France's uh, ability to conduct a relationship with those countries in the region. It has indicated that there's been a weakness in terms of France's foreign policy, considering Mali to Burkina Faso and also Guinea, and now we see Niger. Look at Central African Republic. So th there is an indication there that there's been something really wrong with France's foreign policy. France's ambassador to Niger is to stay in the country despite an ultimatum from the new army leaders there that he leave. The decision was confirmed today during a major foreign policy speech by the president Emmanuel Macron. During those remarks, Macron confirmed that envoy Sylvain Ité was listening from Niamey, the capital of Niger, hours after the junta's deadline for his departure had expired. I believe our policy is the correct one. It's based on the courage of President Bazoum, on the efforts of our diplomats and our ambassador in Niger, who will stay despite pressure from coup leaders. We do not recognize them. We support the president, who's not resigned. Times have changed, no doubt. And France is beginning to get that message that a lot of African countries do not really want to like be in that cocoon where France put them into, but they want to charter a new part in their own history and take responsibility for their own future. And we all know that France has always been at the colonial power that has been there to protect its own leaders and protect those who he wants them to be in power. And the France's imperialistic approach in the region has been called to question in a number of ways. And Niger is one of those countries that has exposed France's presence and its activities in the region. Well, where does this leave France? Well, this has clearly indicates that France has gotten the message that it's not going to be business as usual, that the continent has decided that France's presence and support has not been welcome. If you look at the French sentiment, the anti-French sentiment that has grown across the region, and if you look at France's behavior as a former colonial master who has this colonial mindset of still operating with its former colonies, it hasn't worked so far. I believe that with this current part, France will begin to understand that there is time for more investment and building a proper relationship. If you look at when the French president came to power, Emmanuel Macron, he talked about better relationship with Africa based on cooperation and also equality. But that has never been the case. France continued to talk to capitals of uh, French-speaking countries, especially those countries that it has actual strong presence. But this has actually backfired. If you look at the people in those countries, the population and the citizens, and France continue to operate with the capitals of those French-speaking countries, it has an indication that France does not actually get it, that Africa has transformed, that there is a revolution across the region and France is beginning to feel the impact. France has been in the region for natural resources, some will argue in that way. Of course, there are other diplomatic issues that France has been involved in. However, it's a clear indication that France's presence in Africa, in those particular French-speaking nations, has more been on natural resources. France has exploited these countries to an extent where I believe that those countries' nationals are beginning to realize. This, the latest statement from the group's spokesman. Faced with France's flippant attitude and reaction to the internal situation in our country, the National Council for the Safeguarding of the Homeland has decided to denounce the cooperation agreements in the field of security and defense with France. 
For 10 minutes, their spokesman dryly announces one by one the end of all military agreements with France since 1977. Paris will be notified with immediate effect, he says. I strongly believe that by the Nigerian people taking control of their own future, it will give them that sense of belonging and also a focus for them to drive their own future. The relationship between France and a number of those countries in the region has been that of a master and a servant. This was never going to work. I wonder how the French diplomatic core or diplomatic relationship with this region, it's, it's an indication of how France perceived the continent of Africa. So the Nigerian situation is going to translate into a number of things in Africa. For leaders who are in power, who consider that it's of their best interest to serve their colonial masters not focusing on the development and growth of their region and not focusing on the citizens' need, then it will raise eyebrows in terms of the way your citizens and nationals have perceived you. France's presence has been that of manipulation, especially in those France-speaking countries. Considering France's investments in those regions is insignificant. If you look at what the Chinese have done, Experts will say China's presence in Africa has increased the debt and borrowing and other aspects. That's fine. I think China also can clearly show the developments, the growth, the impact of the economy to the people. What do you talk about in terms of development? Africans do not want to talk about diplomacy. Just talking about diplomacy when people are hungry and people don't have food to eat. And there are difficulties and challenges they need hospitals in some communities across the region and you are talking about uh, democracy talking about diplomacy take action china's taking some huge action take some steps ahead to demonstrate that it is possible in the continent things can be done in africa as well that the results have shown that the chinese have actually proven that the france presence in the region wasn't working that france was there for its own interest. Africa is open for business. African countries really want to work as equal partners, but that's not the way France perceived that region. France perceived the Francophone speaking countries, especially those in the Sahel region, as those countries that it need to exploit for its natural resources. I think France living in Niger is an important indication of a collapsing power that at first that Africa hasn't moved. Africa has moved extensively African countries have taken their own future. African nations are open for business with those countries that are ready. Are there challenges? Yes, there are challenges and there will be challenges always. Show me which country does not have a challenge in the region or across the world. We need partners, but if you are looking to operate from the perspective of actually control, then that is never going to work. And that's the partnership that France has exercised. There was no equality with Niger. There was no partnership with Niger. It was a partnership of interest based on natural resources, which have been catastrophic in terms of my own assessment. Hopefully that Niger will take absolute control of its own future and drive its economy to a different direction and also combat the jihadis in the region and also allow the Nigerian people to feel free once more after independence that they do not have the cooperation agreement, that they are not worried that there will be an intervention from France if something goes wrong, and they can choose their own leader and also charter their own part in terms of diversifying their operations and their growth and looking for new partners and also taking their future in control. We want to look at what happens in Niger as we continue to monitor the situation. Hopefully that this has been a lesson for France and hopefully France can understand that Africa has evolved, that the continent has moved from that former colonial aspect to a whole new generation of issues. If you consider the African continental free trade, every country wants to participate into it and have a share of the growth and the economy. However, with the current aspect with France's interaction and operation, that was never going to happen. And that would have exempt Niger, Burkina Faso, and all the rest, the other countries that France has its own presence in there, will not have to share in the incredible um, expansion and benefit that the African continental free trade would have brought to them 
considering its implementation at the moment we want to thank you for watching hopefully we've informed you with regards to the geopolitical situation in that particular region of africa and we wish the nigerian people all the best and we'll be bringing you more information with regards to the current happenings in niger for now if you are new to our channel we encourage you to check some of our informative video on this youtube channel we are looking forward to meeting you soon in our next episode so have a good day bye bye